All right. So, Uncle Phil, do you know who the Volvo snobs are? Volvo snobs? Yeah, you know Volvo cars, right? Volvo. You know, Volvo. Yeah. 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 I know Volvo. Yeah. Well, you, you don't know. Who, well, you probably don't. Then you don't know who the Volvo snobs are. Probably the people that don't like Volvos. No, they like Volvos. They don't like people who don't like Volvos. Oh. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Oh, well, well, it makes sense to them. It don't make sense to me. Well, it must make sense to them if they like Volvos that much and they're snobs because people don't own a Volvo. Well, I don't know if you remember, but you remember I had a Volvo that was out here for a little yeah. while, that red one? Yeah. I remember me telling you about I could never get it to run? Yeah. And I made a video about that a couple of years, a year and a half, something mm -hmm. like that ago. I remember that. Yeah. And, uh, boy, they're all mad at me now. The Volvo snobs are real mad at me because I made that video and I told everybody how hard those cars are to work on here at home. Yeah. And all what you have to go through to get them fixed if something goes wrong and how expensive yeah. it is and the things that can go wrong. So I detailed all this and I didn't make anything up. I told stuff that's common knowledge. Everybody and knows. And the truth. And the truth. That's right. But they're mad at me. They still leave comments on my videos getting on to me about that. And I think more than anything, it's that I made a video and I kind of exposed that, you know. Because, you know, Volvo's got this legendary thing with them about being so tough and durable. Yeah. And used to be that used to be cheap to work on. They used to be. Yeah. Well, a lot of things used to be cheap. Used to buy, be able to go out and buy a car cheap. Yeah. Okay. You can't buy a car cheap no more. Right. Well, <clears throat> anyway, so I was telling them, I'll tell you about those Volvos. We'll just run through it real kind of quickly. And you see if I'm if I'm in the wrong for even saying anything about it. Because, you know, they're, they've really been mean to me. Some of them have. They've, like, called me names, and they've called me. They say that I shouldn't work on them, and they shouldn't do just really. Because, you know, people do that on the Internet. You know, people say stuff on the Internet that they wouldn't say in person. Well... The only ones then that won't say it in person are jerks. Well, that's probably because, the truth. Because uh, you work on them. Yeah. You work on every car. Yep. Okay. If I had a lot of you cars, you will I know what cost. You would know what is hard to work on. Yep. You would know everything about all the cars. What is the problem and how much right. and all of this, right. and if they don't like it, well, here, here's you know. here's the thing: they get on to me because I live here in the South and I have a Southern accent, so they think that doesn't qualify me to know anything about Volvos. Why not? Volvos are all over the world. That's right, and that's what I thought. So, so what? Well, but, but it's because I'm from the South, though, Phil. Well, why? Wait, that we don't have Volvos here in the South? Well, there's a few of them, not many. <laughs> but well, no. Let me tell you Maybe about this. Maybe there ain't many of them because the things are junk. Let me tell you about that car. Well, you said it. Uh, yeah, I said it, and I'll say it again. Let They're me, junk. Let me tell you about that car. Uh, when I bought that car, it, it was from Craigslist, you know, that thing where you buy and sell stuff right. for free. And this guy had it, and he was trying to get it to start, you know, to run. And you remember it only had 117,000 miles on it. It's a pretty nice yeah. car. I'll give it that. It was a nice car. It was. It and was a pretty car. It was a pretty nice car. car. And I wanted to keep that thing and drive it. And so I bought it like 500 bucks because he couldn't get it to run. It would start. You'd, you'd try to start it, and it would, well, it took first to take forever to even try to start. You know, you'd have to keep, you know, keep trying it. Right. Turn it and turn it, turn it, turn it, and spin, 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 you know, without trying to run the battery down. And then finally it would start to try to run, you know, and so, but what would happen was when it finally decided it was going to pick up and actually do some running, it didn't matter what you did. It didn't matter if you tried to floor it, you let your foot off the gas, you gave it half throttle, any of that stuff. It wouldn't rev up. The way it'd go, it'd go, choo, 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 and it'd go, boom, right back down and stop. You could not keep it running. It would not stay running. So you go through on those things. There's a, <clears throat> and this is what people didn't pay any attention to. I already told everybody. I said I already done all the preliminary stuff. But you, you know, you can check the fuel pump relay, and it wasn't that. It had plenty of fuel pressure. And so what it was was those cars have those cars have. You know, you have a computer in your car that mm -hmm. runs it, runs it. 
And that car has a computer and it's got a security system in it. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of them do. I think yours even has it. Probably. <clears throat> and so it has that. But the thing is, if the computer goes bad in those cars, those particular cars, you can't go to the junkyard and buy another one because the computer on those is programmed to that particular car. It has the car's VIN number in it and all the accessories. Right. Cadillac is the same way. <clears throat> Maybe. So, but what I'm saying is you can't, if it quits running, if something happens to the ECU, the computer goes bad in it or gets corrupted or the security system gets corrupted somehow. So it's all interconnected with computer stuff, you know. Everything goes through that computer. That's right. And, and, it, and people... Then I guess they were in disbelief that I actually understood that. I already knew that. I already knew that to begin with. I knew that. You know, poor little me wasn't confused about that. So, anyway, I come to find out after I bought that car that you, you can't fix it yourself. If anything has to be done on the computer, it has to be taken to either the Volvo dealer who has the proprietary, which means only Volvo. Mm hmm software to work on it or or one of these shops that that's all they do is work right. with Volvos which there's one around here so that's all the video is about I said this car has got some kind of electronic problem with it it can't be fixed here and that's it and I said that's why I would never own one because you know this car here let me just interrupt myself the one behind you there this 98 Infiniti has got all the stuff that that car had on it you know all the electronics all the security mm -hmm. system and everything. But you can work on this car. You can take it apart here in the driveway, go to the junkyard, get cheap parts and fix it, and put it back together. And it right. works. You don't have any of that crap. That and you know, so what do you think about that? Do you think it's worth having one of those cars that you buy no. that no. that you can't fix here, that if something goes no. wrong with it that you can't repair it in your own driveway? I would not own one for the simple <clears throat> reason. They stick it to you, and the only place you can take it to is to a Volvo place. That's right. And that is the same place that, uh, what you call it, is about my Kia. Yeah. I took it back. Been back four times for a fuel problem. Yeah, we don't need to name who it is, but that's okay. I, I, I know who you're talking about. That was about. good. The place and, you bought it from. Let's right. Just, yeah. For the fuel problem, <clears throat> yeah, I still. They went in. They charged me four hundred sixty dollars for a fuel, yeah, uh, ga uh, fuel gauge or in, that's in the tank. Sending unit. Sending yeah. unit. Yeah. It got towed from uh, Gunnersville in back of Mike's Merchandise. Yeah. On a rollback because it quit. Yeah. Okay. okay? Right. And they said it was a cam sensor. Cam sensor. And uh, then it's gone back again <clears throat> for a fuel problem, and they uh, put some other little doogie on that thing yeah. that goes in the tank. Yeah, okay. So, okay, right. and I'm still having the same problem. I paid over $7,000 for that car. That one. And I'm still having fuel <clears throat> problems. You do not know what you got in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. So anyway, so I told all these, you know, I, in that video, I just went through all that. And plus that car has an electronic throttle body on it. Do you know what that is? You know, you got a throttle yes. body. Goes under the carburetor. No. Or I mean, um, it's the fuel, it it's for the fuel yeah, injection. Fuel. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so this electronic throttle body on it means it has no throttle cable on it. It's drive, what they call drive by wire. Right. Which means the computer you just have a it's not there's no mechanical connection between it so it all runs off electronics which that's not a problem that little suzuki that little orange suzuki i had it had mm -hmm. one of those it worked you can't fine just carburetor neither they don't have a carburetor field they don't have well, it on those they don't have anything that's not the point though the thing is that little suzuki you remember it ran fine we drove it all over and it yeah. had drive-by wire so the volvo the one we went when we bought seven, that seven eight states countries could have been yep so anyway, upshot of it is that throttle body, if it goes bad on those Volvos, it's about a $500 bill to get another one for it. And it has to be programmed. Do you know even on those Volvos, the door locks have to be programmed? The locks well, and the doors. Why would anybody want a car that has to only go back to Volvo? They do. That's their, they're their Volvo snobs. That's what I'm saying. They, they think that's good, Phil. 
Well, then they got more money than they got brains. I and that's they all do. I got to say to them. They got more money than they got brains. Can you believe that? And and somebody was saying on there that said, you if know, they got that much money, then fork it over to 186 Red Fox Circle to Philip Savage, and I'd be more than happy to take it. Sure. And spend it. I'll let them know that. Sure will. Good. Maybe you'll get some donations. If they've got too much money running out of their bank account, they'll send it to you. There you go. So they've been on me. The Volvo snobs been on me. First they say, well, you. You're you're just a hick. You shouldn't. You don't understand those cars. And then they'll say they'll say, well, you should have known some of those cars have problems. All cars have problems. All of them. There isn't a car just made not that, that bad. does not have problems. But Volvo has a problem to where only Volvo can work on them. And they say, you know what they've been saying now? They've been saying there's a few of them. They've been they say. You should just stick with your American cars. You should, if you don't. And you know what I say to that? Here was my reply. You're maybe you're right. Maybe I should stick to an American car if it'll be worked on. If I can work on an American car here in my driveway, without having to fork over a grand to the dealer to get it fixed, well, maybe I should stick with an American car. There you go. Ask them the next time they give a smart ass remark. Ask them how many times has our Volvo been in the shop for problems well, that they couldn't work on themselves or take it to a regular garage and have it worked on. Well, get this, one one person, one of the Volvo snobs, you know what he said? He said, well, I just I just got my Volvo out of the shop. It was $900 for an oil leak. Okay. Can you believe that? I said, amen. $900. I said, amen, brother. Leak. Amen, brother. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's a guy who's a real nice guy who works on Volvos on his you channel. You should ask him how far his head was stuck up their <laughs> rear end, too. I'm sure he wrote a big check. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what I say. Good. If, you, if, if it's worth it to have that status, it's all about status. You know what status yeah. is? Status is, no. status is, status is, is. Feeling like you're in a higher position in the social part of life because what you own or drive. So they think that. So that's, see, that's okay to them. Like, well, well, we'll just pay a it's thousand dollars. Guys like that that really piss me off. They say, they say stuff like, they say, they say, well, if you don't want to be willing to spend that kind of money to keep a car like a Volvo running, you don't deserve to own one. Then fine, I don't want one. So let's look at this car, Phil. You know, this car, we've had this car's been here about a year. Yeah. And this is his '98 Infinity. And we can work on it any time we want in our driveway, and it ain't got to go to a damn Volvo place or go to a garage yeah, they don't, to have it fixed. They don't listen to that at all. They don't. Oh, they, no, they, they, they hate they, hearing that. They don't. They, they, no, they don't want to hear the truth. And you know, the, my internet friend that works on Volvos, on the, he's has a little side hobby of doing that, and he work, He won't touch the '99s or later, but he works on the old ones, and he he's developed his whole YouTube channel about doing repairs on those cars. Stuff breaking, the dash breaking loose, heater cores leaking, the PCV system stopping up, on and on and on and on. And this car, this car is about to turn over 236,000 miles on it. It had 198 when I bought it, so I've put almost 40,000 miles on it since back in March when we went and got it from that guy. You know how much I've spent on this car to repair it in 2014? Probably not a whole lot. Do you know how much, I mean, stuff that's actually broken and I had to repair it? Probably not nothing. How about this? Zero. Right. You ask them <clears throat> uh, smart asses on, uh, about their uh, Volvos, how much they have to spend on their car, on their Volvos. You know how much is broken on the inside of this car? Nothing. Stuff? Nothing. Everything still works perfectly. The heat and air work perfectly. The climate control works perfectly. The heated seats work perfectly. You the windows them, work perfectly. You tell them that at least we ain't spent eight or nine hundred dollars for an oil leak on a Volvo. Yeah. He's, 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 and, and what the funny thing is, is all I've done to this car is I've done just routine maintenance. I had to put a set of tires on it. That was the most expensive thing. That was $360 I'm, for a set I'm of tires. I'm pissed off now. Uh, 
well people what uh, people like that that gets down on you because you're putting down Volvo. Oh, it's just the you know it's just the internet Phil. I don't care, but you know how many people listen to that shit and watch it. Everybody. Well, it's got a ton of views, and, and uh, you know they can rank your videos. But people can like it or dislike it. It's got like a little thumbs up or thumbs down, and I've right. got almost as many thumbs down. Because look, let me tell you something. This is what it's all about. It's not like I said when I started this video here. It's not about that I'm telling something that's not the truth. Right. It's because they're that. pissed off because I told the truth. Well, then that's their damn problem. They're pissed if off. They're pissed off because you told the truth. Exactly. Then. Can I get uh, a bears. can I get an amen? Yes. So there's the truth. That's that's why you don't buy a Volvo, Phil. I'll never buy a Volvo. How'd you like to get one that you had to go out there and You couldn't give me a damn Volvo. You had to if you put the key in the wrong way it wouldn't start. That I is want a car like that. That is documented. That is documented all over the damn internet. It's been documented. If People, I can't work on a car sitting in my driveway, then I don't want the damn thing. So, that. so they, uh, this woman, about this woman, she said she had her little kids in the car, went go shopping. She came back out and it wouldn't start. She wouldn't do anything. Turn the key, it wouldn't do anything. And it said it comes up. The later one's got a little display in the center of the, the instrument cluster. Mm -hmm. You know, it reads out words, stuff says stuff on it. And when it does that, you know what it helpfully says to you? It says, security fault. So not only are you not going to be able to start your car and drive away, at least now you know how the thing fucked you. It's a security fault. That's all it is. See, that's Phil. That's all it is. It's just a security fault. Wow. That's all wrong that with all, it. That must be all the Volvo lovers. Is sure. A uh, security fault. That's all it well. is. It's just a little security fault. Just haul it into the dealer and have them keep it for a week or two, and it'll yeah. be fine. Go kiss the dealer's ass. You know what the, <laughs> you know what the, okay, I'm going to end this up, but you know what the only security yeah, fault this car, this old tank has had on this car, you know what the only security fault this one's had is sometimes if I don't stand close enough to unlock the doors with a remote, you know what'll happen? I don't go off. No, it won't unlock. Oh. So I have to do this. I have to get up and go closer to it and click it again. I love my car. Don't take me wrong. I like Kia. Yeah. I got a five-speed in it. I love it. Everything yeah. works on it. Sure. The only problem I have is I can't. You tell can't how work much on gas. it. Everything no. works on it except you. <laughs> I can't tell how much gas. The car has a warranty. Yeah. But now the warranty covers. Get this. The warranty covers pistons, yeah. cam, rings, valves. It's a drivetrain only. The transmission. The gears. Uh, and and that yeah. the rear end. Yeah. It don't cover the clutch, the pressure plate. Don't cover nothing on the engine on the outside. That's, that's why. Only on the yeah. inside. Right. Right. That's of the motor yeah. of the drivetrain. Right. That's, that's all it covers. That's why you don't buy extended warranties, because they're a rip off. Yeah. They don't cover I anything. I paid sixteen hundred dollars for the damn extended well, warranty. Don't do that again. Not cover nothing. That's right. That's why they sell those things. Those extended warranties because asked they cover. I said, well, is it going to cover the clutch? No, that's not the drive train. No. And I told this dizzy, <laughs> black-haired girl, uh, haired girl down there <laughs> at uh, the car lot. I said, that's not the drive train. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I it, and I said, well. If you don't have a clutch, then yeah. you don't drive. If you ain't got a drive shaft, you don't drive. <laughs> drive train to me is from the engine to the rear end. That's everything. Yeah. That's engine, clutch, transmission, drive shaft, rear end. But the point is though, see the point is that they don't they don't cover anything that's liable to break. <laughs> that's the truth. That's, that's gonna break. Huh? Anything can break on it. I know, but they only cover the stuff that's unlikely to break. The engine and stuff, the engine's probably going to last a little stuff that's going to break, like windows and clutch and, and you know, things like that. CV joints, they ain't going to cover that because they have no, to actually spend they money. They charged me over $200 for some transmission bushings. Yeah. And, that w and they get charged, they charge $90 an hour yeah. to put in 
two little bushings yeah. in a trance. It takes two bolts out, slide two rubbers in there, tighten the bolt back. It took me 10 minutes. It was going to take them yeah. an hour and charge me over $200. Yeah, yeah. Two, in fact, $235 because yeah. the bushings are $35. Yeah. I took the car in, told them what was wrong with it. Yeah. They took it in the back, came.